Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Pandas Lead Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 596, Classes More Than 5 Students. The GitHub solution link for this video will be provided in the link in the chat description. If you are interested in joining my Telegram and LinkedIn YT page community, please join using this. Uh, links which are provided on the screen along with that the links are also provided in the video description below now Let's solve to get the problem which you want to solve Okay, let us come here So they have given a table which is consisting of students and a class Okay students you can see there are different different a is a student b is a student etc etc And they are taking some respective classes maths english etc etc now what they are asking, write a solution to find all classes that have at least 5 students, okay, any order they said, okay, let me copy it. Okay, just let me make it bigger. So you can clearly see there are maths, English, biology, computer. Okay. Let us see how many maths are there. Maths one, maths two, maths three, maths four, maths five, and math six. So maths six are there. Okay. Similarly, what is the second subject which is there? English. Okay, English is there only once. Similarly, computers, it is also there once. Okay. Let me take it. And we can see uh, any other thing is there. Yeah, biology is there. So, biology is also there once. Okay. Now, out of all the subjects, which subject has been greater than 5? Can I say only this one? Okay, and what is the subject? Maths. Okay, that is what they're outputting. So, what should be our step one? Step one should be group by class and count the rows. Okay, this will give me each subject and the number of rows, means number of students which will be there. Okay, that is step two. Step one, what is the step two? This count of rows, which is the number of students, should be filtered for greater than five okay what should be our step 3 for example if you filter it all these things will be gone only this thing will be read step 3 will be selecting only these students sorry this selecting only this class column okay let us solve it step wise step 1 so let us say return df dot group by which column I need to group class okay and let me do the counting okay dot size will do with the counting as it is we are doing a grouping it will give a group by object or oh, sorry it should be a courses so whatever it is it will give me a group by object but I want a data frame so let me reset index to make it a data frame so each class and now the count of that we are getting it okay but i want to change the name of this count let me call it as some ct okay let us call it as count ct we can see here okay biology one computer one english one maths six okay step one is done let us do the step two what is the step two we have done step two is filtering the table okay df equal to df where df of ct they said at least 5 right okay at least means minimum okay greater than or equal to 5 not greater than 5 greater than means greater than 5 at least means greater than or equal to 5 okay that me right right see we only got this one which is what but what is the 
case missing we want only the class which is step 3 step 3 so we got it as it is a single column we call it as a series but we want our test data frame so let me keep one more bracket as a list of column names now it is a data frame yes our case one has been successfully accepted let me submit for all the test cases yes we have successfully solved this question and we have uh, overcome all the test cases thankfully okay now if you want the solution for this it will be provided in the github here okay you can visit this link in the video description and you can uh, play with this all the solutions okay and if you are further interested in learning data science analytics machine learning nlp computer vision and generate ai stuff please fill the google form below my team will be reaching out to you and for further updates regarding this channel and anything you can just follow this linkedin page the link will be provided in the description if you have any other further questions or doubts, use the hashtag AskMLUprasad in the comment sections. I'll be answering every comment which has this and I'll be clearing your doubts. Okay. Until then, keep learning guys.